Hello, I'm Rich Dean with West Coast Collector Cars in Oregon, and today I've got a beautiful 1963 Chevrolet half-ton short wide box pickup to show you. Now, let me start out by saying this truck is on a 1963 frame, uh, and therefore titled as a 1963. But you know, common, you know, Lee, the uh, when the restorations are starting to, uh, to be performed. Um, you know, the cabs maybe are damaged beyond repair or rusted beyond repair or whatever. So what this is, this is a little bit later, like a 64.5 cab. So uh, just wanted to point that out to you. It really makes no difference in terms of the truck. They're all about the same. But the 63s had a little bit different windshield configuration around in here. But uh, let me take you around the truck, show you just how beautiful and how nice it is. Finished off in... Uh, what I call Omaha orange, which is a, an original color, very deep base coat, clear coat. Uh, it's kind of a reddish orange. It's not quite hugger orange, but uh, excellent color. Very nice fit and finish is excellent on the truck. Uh, the wheels and tires, these are like a, what I call a truck rally. Uh, very nice, cleanly painted silver with the trim ring. And these are brand new Cooper Cobra radials all around. These are uh, 275s, by the way, and they are 15s. All the glass is nice. All the trim and bright work looks new. And of course, uh, the weather stripping all replaced when the truck was painted. Offhand, I would say the restoration was completed probably you know, three or four years ago, maybe. Yeah. Uh, did a fine job. You'll notice the shut lines here nice and even on the truck. No rust, of course, in the truck. Got mirrors on each side. Take in the interior. Gutters and so forth up in here. No rust. Very nice. Uh, this is finished off in, in sort of what they call the fawn beige, which is very common, if not uh, about the only color they did the interior in. Of course, this has all been redone as well. Uh, and all your uh, bright work and fasteners and everything are excellent. Windows roll up and down nice and easy. All the felts, well, I should show you that the felts here, you can see all replaced and so forth. Wing winds, all the glass again, beautiful. Very nice, clean job. Nice gray carpeting to match. All your weather stripping, nice. Jams are nice. Uh, the seat, the bench seat, uh, finished off in this fabric. It's it's not velour. It's actually just a soft cloth. Very nice. You can tell the uh, ceiling and everything up there is repainted. They just did an excellent job on it. This is a nice truck. Really, the the primo uh, feature of this truck is the way it drives, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. But doors close nice and easy. Again, shut lines nice and true. The bed is excellent. No damage out here on the bed or on the inside of the bed. Nice bright trim here original window there even your forward piece is nice and clean not dented up as well as the tailgate that's oak uh, bed planking there and the strips they painted or yeah I think they're painted well they might be powder coated but they're black rather than steel steel color I should say or, or unpainted but note all the fasteners note all the fasteners very nice very well done. The paint's nice and deep in here, too. Yeah, you're probably not going to want to haul too much gravel in this. All the chains and, and, and hardware here and covers all new, fresh. Nice bumper bracket covers here. You can see all the chrome is nice. Tail lights are nice. Let me take a minute to tell you uh, about the website westcoastcollectorcars.com where of course I have pictures of the truck and I have a text ad that explains a lot of the attributes and hits some of the bullet points that I, I may miss here but uh, 
Pictures of the undercarriage as well, you need to see that. Very nice and clean, again, completely restored. Uh, the engine is a 283, a uh, little four barrel on it, and they called that a high torque uh, in, the, in the trucks. Uh, of course, it's all been rebuilt. Transmission, uh, turbo 350, automatic, and it does have a 12 bolt with about 350 to one gears. So you can drive it anywhere you want. Drive it all the time. Fires right up, cold or warm. There's really nothing to complain about. Everything works on the truck. Nice little dual exhaust with chrome tips. We'll take you in the driver's side here. Again, very nicely painted and finished off. All the factory gauges work, and this is a Sun SuperTac vintage, and it works. You got an auxiliary uh, temp gauge down there. Heater works. Uh, the radio works, you can hear it, but it, it really uh, could stand an antenna. They're, they didn't put an antenna with it, but uh, otherwise it would work. But dome light, kind of working up there. Fuel tank still behind uh, the uh, the truck. They finished it off in this correct original cardboard. Let me show you this too. Down here, uh, you'll notice this is the original jack assembly, and that's where it went, and it's it's there, all refinished as well. Doors closed nice. You don't have to slam the doors. Look how nicely this hood aligns. This is a big hood and it aligns very well. Should say the windshield wipers, they work as well. Everything works on the truck. Up front here, uh, your grill, your bright work and everything, nice, not, not beat up or anything, nice chrome bumper. Show you under the hood. Very nicely done in here as well. Uh, 283 and there's your high torque 283 decal power steering power front disc brakes Very clean very nicely done under here nice big radiator All clean and new Up under the up underneath is nice nicely painted they really did a fantastic job on the truck. I should tell you again, uh, you know, this truck really tracks, drives nicely. The brakes work nice and true. They work great. Power steering, so very easy to steer. I mean, you could drive this thing daily if you want to. It's pretty nice. You know, I don't know if you want to drag it through the soup anywhere, but uh, what we'll do right now, I'll hop in the truck start it you'll hear it run uh, it's got a nice little sound to it I'll just make a couple little loops around the parking lot so you kind of get a sense of what it looks like you know kind of moving down the road or under its own power but uh, yeah it, this truck is, is such a nice truck uh, yeah I don't know how you could, you could get it <laughs> get it much better than it is you know uh, if a person wanted to customize it even further of course you could you know do the drop spindles on it and maybe put some big wheels and tires if that's what you like but uh, it looks great just the way it is.
Nice tight steering radius. You can see there's no problem uh, turning the corner in here. Uh, horn works. Yeah, it does have a GMC steering wheel. Probably couldn't find a Chevy logoed steering wheel, but you know, no big deal there. It does have tilt column. That's kind of nice too. Very well appointed, very nice, very clean. Like I guess say everywhere. I mean, even your visors in here are nice and the bright work with them too. Yeah, uh, just not a whole lot to complain about on this truck. Uh, yeah, it should serve uh, any purpose you want. But if I can answer any further questions for you about this 1963 Chevrolet C10 short wide, don't hesitate to give me a call. Again, my name is Rich Dean and this is West Coast Collector Cars. My number is 503-851-6763 and thank you for watching today.